Hello, I'm Dr. Rohini. Today, I'm going to give you a short overview about all the hormonal tests that we do during an IVF stimulation before egg pickup. So, when uh, the patient comes to us on second day of her periods, the hormone tests that we usually advise are estrogen levels, progesterone levels, uh, FSH hormone levels, that is follicular stimulating hormone levels, and LH levels, that is luteinizing hormone levels. So, uh, usually, we expect a very well suppressed hormonal cycle to begin the stimulation. That is, our estrogen levels should be less than 50, progesterone less than 1, and uh, folic, ideally FSH and LH levels should be less than 10. So it also helps us to progress, uh, give a prognosis about the uh, IVF stimulation. There are women who have poor ovarian reserve, they tend to have a high FSH levels. So if the FSH value is more than 10, that means the cycle may not go very well, that is the uh, IVF stimulation and also the quality of eggs that we get may not be of a very good quality. So this also gives an idea about that. So apart from this, we call patients, um, we give injections for five to six days. Then we again uh, call them, um, them on either fifth or sixth day of injection and we do a scan. And along with that, we also advise estrogen levels, hormone levels and LH hormone levels. So this gives us, gives us an idea how well the follicles are growing because a good flow, growing follicle will release more, more estrogen. So uh, apart from that, on the day of posting uh, you for egg pickup, that is the final day of your IVF stimulation injection, we do estrogen levels, LH hormone levels and progesterone levels. So again, estrogen levels will give us an idea how many eggs we are going to obtain. So usually a mature follicle, which is going to give us a mature egg will be secreting around 200 to 250 picograms of estradiol. And uh, next, the LH hormone levels gives us, gives us an idea. Um, whether the LH surge has already started. LH surge means if the LH values are very high, then uh, it may be a problem um, because uh, that it may mean that the egg may rupture very soon, uh, even before the egg pickup. So this gives an idea about that. And the progesterone levels is also very important. So usually we have a cutoff. If the progesterone uh, value is less than one, then only we plan for a fresh transfer for the patient after an egg pickup. Fresh transfer means uh, the transfer that is done immediately after egg pickup in the same cycle. So these are some of the basic tests, uh, hormone tests. Apart from this, we also check the patient's blood group, uh, the HIV, hepatitis B and hepatitis C and VDRL screening, that is the infection screening. Apart from that, sugars are checked so that uh, she doesn't fall into any kind of infection during the egg pickup procedure. And also her liver and uh, function test and kidney function test is checked. Uh, because all these hormones that we give to the patient may affect the liver. So these are other investigations that is done. So I hope uh, I gave you a small idea about uh, what are the tests that has to be done.